Going guys, welcome back to Queen Cine Corals. I'm Graham and today we are at Reefstock Denver. I'm gonna be showing you guys all the different corals in there and giving you guys a lot few of what it's like to be at the show. We are in a little bit early, so it should be pretty empty for us. Should be able to get some good footage of all the different takes. So let's go guys. All right, so the first booth right when you walked in is MC Aquatics. They brought a, a few NEMs, Favias, some torches, um, some hammers and frog spawns, as well as a few clownfish to go with the anemones. Of course, you can't have one without the other. Um, they also had a few different meat corals, some leathers, um, chalices, a nice uh, mix of sort of encrusting corals and stuff like that. They also had a ton of dry goods. Um, they mostly brought dry goods. Next up, we have Altitude Corals. They are a local shop in Denver, um, and they call themselves a Colorado-based aquaculture coral boutique. Uh, they had a lot of really cool pieces, uh, like the Micro Musa A cans. You can see they had a bunch of different scolies, some euphilia as well. Um, you can see the torches here have some nice fat extension. I'm really happy. You got sticks in the back there. Um, as well as some pretty cool chalices and mushrooms here. Um, they had some nice jawbreakers up front and some petunias down there. Really beautiful jawbreaker here with some great coloration. Um, also had some cool looking stickers along with, um, this was mostly sort of encrusters, um, some mushrooms, some SPS. Um, this is all stuff they grew out. Some zoas as well in this tank. Um, they also had some plants available. Uh, in the other tank here, they had some anemones, some more pectinia, uh, as well as really cool chalices in the front there. Uh, they also had some nice meat corals and trachies, some nice plate corals, blastos, and some more higher end zoas in this tank here. Um, some of the white zombies, purple monsters. Uh, so that was Altitude Corals. Right next to them was Aquatic Realms International. Um, they are at quite a few shows. Um, they brought some meat corals, some elegances, some hammers, a few things a little closed up because they just opened, um, but also some inverts, some jawbreakers in here, um, along with some red serpent stars, which are really cool. You don't see those guys all the time. Um, they also had some euphilia, so some torches, frog spawns, some hammers as well. Also had some mushrooms on the right side of the tank. Um, you can see some yumas, other things like that. They had some bigger pieces, blasto colonies, some more trachies, um, meats, things like that. Um, they also had some encrusters, some favias, favites, things like that along with some Zoas, Ghanis, and all sorts of other things. Next up we have Scales Natural Art. So he had some really cool artwork that I actually bought some of. Definitely recommend that. Reef Legends, they brought their own Fido. Um, and on the other side of them was Deep Blue Aquarium. They had a bunch of different Ghani, Zoas, some Acros, Chalices, really cool looking Speciosa Acroporas, as well as some nice Chalices and Blastos. Um, also had some Button Scolies, as well as some regular Scolies. Pretty cool Mushrooms. Um, of course, they had some Hammers and Torches all in here. Uh, there was also some pretty cool Encrusters and Alveoporas, some interesting Pictinias. Um, in the other tank here, they had some beginner-friendly coral, some leathers, zoas, things like that, um, that are all great for beginners. Um, they even had some cyphastrias in there, um, favites, things like that. A nice mix of colors. You get kind of every color to fill up your reef tank. Um, some more encrusters here, some leptoceras. Um, they also had some more zoas and, of course, GSP. Uh, they also had some bird's nests, parietes, in addition to some mushrooms, as well as some xenia, some more encrusters here, a bunch of different cyphastrias, leptoceris, uh, different kinds of zoas as well, people eaters, some posiliporas and bird's nests, and some more encrusters and chalices, a couple of 
different pieces. Next up, we have Oceanic Gardens. Um, he had some boo some food at his booth, so some seaweed, some pods, and some phytos from bigger fish. Uh, he also had some nice looking rock flowers over here in this tank next to some encrusters. In his other tank, he had a nice mix of Ghanis and Alveoporas, as well as some Duncans and some Euphilia, some Hammers, Frog Spawns, things like that. Also had some Plate Corals. In this tank, he had some Elegances, which are really cool looking. Uh, in addition to some Acans in the back, some chunkier pieces, and some Zoas up front. His booth had really chunky corals, which is nice to see. Some Grandis Pallies there. And then in the last tank, he had some torches, as well as some more Acans in the back there. You can see they're pretty good size Acans, especially for the price he was selling them for. He had some mushrooms up in the front here, as well as some Galaxia. In the back, there was some Blastos and some Chalices. Next up, we have Distinctive Living Reefs. They had a bunch of these play corals up front, which are really cool. They actually culture them. They also had some clams, some Cyphastrias, some sticks. Uh, some other encrusters like favias and favites, in addition to a few leathers. Then in this tank right here, they had a bunch of different anemones that had some really nice color to them. Next up, we have Aquavita 365. They had some bower bankies, some zoas, a nice mix of bigger pieces and colors, some torches, as well as some candy canes. They had these really cool cyphastria discs where they glued a bunch together. And you can see they have some Ghani pucks as well mixed together. In the other tank on this side, they had some Pictinias as well as some other variety of Ghanis, some bounce mushrooms, some acans, really big plate corals up front there, and a really beautiful trachea as well. Um, unique looking bower bankies that you don't see all the time with blue in them, as well as some acans that are nice and fat and fluffy and some really cool rainbow chalices here with great patterning on them. Now, the next booth is A to Z Zoanthid. They have these really cool metal artwork pieces that I haven't really seen before. They have some, of course, Zoanthids, um, but other than that, they had some torches, some mushrooms, really nice jawbreakers at this booth, um, probably some of the nicest at the show. Of course, some more Zoanthids, never have too many Zoanthids more torches up front here and they had some bigger pieces and this was probably the nicest uh, jawbreaker mushroom at the entire show the amount of red that thing has is absolutely insane you can see they also had quite a few patinias some gsp and a lot of different montes they probably had the best selection of montes at the show as well as some bigger colonies also had some sticks in here uh, some nice looking pieces, nice and fluffy. These are all tenuouses, but they're super fluffed out. They almost look like milliporas. Also had some hammers and some Ghani colonies, uh, as well as some acro bigger acros and digis. Some nice bird's nests there. And the next booth is OMG Jesus Coral. And oh my God, these corals were nice. Uh, he had some really nice elegances as well as some really nice hammers. These Cristata hammers were absolutely incredible. Really beautiful rainbow hammer there, uh, as well as some nice rainbow alveoporas and a ton of rainbow acans in this tank. You can see there's a bunch of different ones and they all have different crazy colors. Um, so really nice oranges and blues, a lot of colors you don't see all the time. He also had a bunch of different zoas and mushrooms in this tank. Uh, really nice, beautiful flamethrower bounce mushrooms here. Uh, you do see those guys all the time. They're a little more uncommon to see, especially nowadays. Bunch of different zoa varieties, as well as some yumas and some other bounce mushrooms. This tank, he had a fantastic looking Master Scully with a ton of different colors. Uh, really interested to see if he sold that piece because it was definitely a showstopper. He also had some other meat corals and scenarinas, in addition to some pictinias and some nice rainbow chalices. As you can see here, they had some really great coloration on them. Also had some blastos that had some really cool color and these mixed blasto packs where he glued a few different pieces together so they kind of all grow in together. Next up, we have Epic Aquaculture. 
Uh, they had quite a few pieces in this tank um, of a good variety of SPS. You can see they had pretty chunky pieces, which is a little more uncommon to find nowadays unless people are growing them out, uh, which they definitely are if they're getting them in at this size. Um, around the corner of their booth, they had some more torches in this tank, as well as some Ghanis in the back and some A-cans. You can see the flesh on these torches is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can see here a really nice bounce mushroom that had some great tentacle extension. Uh, in this tank were some really beautiful rock flowers. You can see some great color on these guys. A lot of people brought rock flowers to this show, uh, and for good reason. People love rock flowers. They have a ton of color to them, and they don't move around a lot like other anemones, so they're a really good choice. You can find out more about rock flowers in our rock flower anemone video, um, which I'll have linked here. Next up was frost corals. If you've seen any of our show videos, you've seen frost corals. If you've been to pretty much any show, you've probably seen frost. He goes to every show um, that I've been to pretty much. So he has, of course, a ton of different corals. You can see he has some non-photosynthetic stuff like these gorgonias and the sun corals. Also has some incrusters here, some cyphastrias, as well as some duncans some chalices, some leptoceras, some zoas, of course, as well as some clove polyps, some more encrusters and duncans and acans, of course, a ton of different colors of acans, some beautiful trachees, some mushroom colonies, really nice looking jawbreaker that had some green in it, as well as some scolies, of course, also had a few different anemones these are the chicago sunburst anemones in the other tank here he had some plate corals in the back as well as some black widow anemones in the center here these guys had some really beautiful blue webbing in the center had some encrusters some gani astreas some hammers and frog spawns as well as some torches of course even more different euphilia some more frog spawns on this right side then going around, he had more Yaya Mensis, as well as some long tentacle plate corals in the back, and some gold torches up front. On the right side were a ton of different Zoas, as well as some Duncan colonies and smaller elegances. This tank was rainbow bubble tip anemones. They were absolutely beautiful. Next up is Aquaculture. They brought some fish. They were one of the only vendors who brought fish, but it seemed like they did a pretty good job acclimating them and everything. Also brought some corals. They had some zoas, some interesting looking Ghani Astreas. You can see this one here with the dragon soul and the other one there. Nice elegance as well as some Montes, some acros, nice chunky acro frags. Had some Walt Disney's as well as beautiful trachophilia, nice and chunky and some torches in the back. Also got top tier aquatics next. They had a pretty good mix of different corals. They had some plate corals, some mushrooms here, some nice green and gold in them. You can see the plate corals in the center there, as well as some hammers in the back there with some frog spawns and a bunch of different ganis and acans in the front. Also had some rock flower anemones in the center here in cups. And then on the right tank, there was a pretty good assortment of zoas, as well as a nice assortment of encrusters some long polyp toadstools which i think they were the only booth there also had some really cool branching cyphastria if you know me i like the weird stuff and that is definitely one of the weirder things also had a few different montes and some more higher end zoas on that right side there this tank was mostly hammers and euphilia you can see some nice rainbow hologram hammers there and some torches in the back also had some acans and some mushrooms, some bounce mushrooms, as well as some more higher end zoas, as well as some diacereus plates, which are a little more interesting, and some higher end montes up front there. Next up, we've got combat corals. He had some duncans in the back, as well as some digis, some leptoceras, and some larger zoa frags. Also some mushrooms up front there, and some mass... Blasto Merletis, some Duncans, Trumpets, some nice button scolies in the back of that rack, and some regular scolies, of course, in addition to some of the black light torches and some frog spawns. 
He also had some nice chalices and anemones in the back there that had some really great color. Some trachees, a few rock flowers, some more frog spawns and torches in this tank here. And really beautiful OG bounce there. Next up, we've got Badgerland Saltwater. Uh, he had a pretty nice assortment of really well-priced corals. You can see some yellow submarine favias there for 20 bucks. Super chunky frags, a really great deal. Definitely hope somebody grabbed those guys. Nice torches in the back, as well as some acans and some more encrusters up front here for just 20 bucks. Really great deals over at this booth. Beautiful acanthophilia. Nice ASD Holy Grail torch, as well as a big acan colony. Some other bigger plate corals and trachees, things like that. In addition to more farmed pieces on the right here. Some nice chalices, favias, zoas. All real chunky frags for a really good price. Uh, this booth was definitely really great if you're looking for a deal. Next up, we had Fins Up. They're a local store in Colorado, out of Colorado Springs. They had some Fido, as well as some 3D printed items. Also had a pretty cool display tank here with a really beautiful Amazeball Ghani at the bottom there. They also had some of their merch for sale. In addition to, of course, their corals, they had some Yumas up front there, some really unique looking chalices and acans. Also had some sticks in the back there next to some Ghani Aporas and some torches. Really great color on the Ghanis back there. Some bubble corals, acanthos, another ASD Holy Grail torch. These guys had some fantastic color on them. And really nice scolies up front there. In addition, some pictinias and this beautiful Candy Crush Jawbreaker up front here. I think there was only a couple of booths with the Candy Crush Jawbreakers. They're getting a little harder to find. Next up, we had Coral Stop. In this tank, he had some of his standard rock flowers, which still had really great color to them. Then in the other tanks, he had a few more pieces. Um, he had some really nice torches uh as well as some other pieces my favorite thing about this booth is he had all his pricing laid out on signs up above his tank that corresponded to the letters and numbers on the rack he's one of the first vendors i've seen do this and definitely something i'm thinking about implementing at our next show here are some of his higher grade rock flowers as you can see these guys had some fantastic color to them Really beautiful oranges and yellows. This one was absolutely insane. I think the nicest rock flower at the entire show. A really special piece that someone got, I saw later in the show. Also had some Zoas. Again, really nice to have all his pricing and everything laid out on the little signs above because it lets you know all the names of the different Zoas and that way it keeps everything straight so you don't think you're buying one Zoa when you're actually getting a different one. Also had some nice sticks in the back that he's cultured in addition to some mushrooms up front. He had some Yumas and some Rhodactus as well as some uh, higher end ones there. And then some hammers. Over here he had Acans, some Micromusas, some Bernardoporas, some Ghanis, some Blastos as well as a couple of frog spawns in the back there. In this tank he had some of his cheaper pieces, so some cheaper Zoas. Acans, some encrusting Montes, Duncans, Trumpets, some Bird's Nests, some Montes. Then here were some really nice Micromusa Acans as well as some Chalices, higher end pieces here. Uh, he also had some nice hammers. Now Clam Mania, again, if you've seen our videos before, you've probably seen Clam Mania. If you've been to Reef of Palooza, you've seen him. Uh, he has some of the nicest clams in the hobby. Uh, these guys are absolutely beautiful. If you're looking to get a really nice clam, he is definitely one of the top places to stop by. You can hand pick them, and he's got a ton of different varieties here. You can see blues. You can see even some greens, some browns, um, some really nice patterning that's a little more unique and you don't get to see all the time. He had probably a couple hundred clams in these tanks and a ton of different varieties, some Maximas, some Crocias, some Durasas, uh, really everything you're looking for if you want a clam. And he had a bunch of them, absolutely 
crammed in the here. Um, and they all look super happy and fluffed up. You can tell they're doing well because they were really responsive um, when there was any sort of change in light. Next up, we have Unlimited Color Corals. Also another vendor that's been to quite a few shows, goes to Reef of Palooza every year. Uh, he had some anemones on this right side as well as some larger pieces here on the other tank. He had some nice trachees, some bubble corals, some meat corals, as well as some mushrooms and galaxia. Had some really beautiful plate corals and this blasto was probably my favorite blasto in the entire show. Also had some beautiful pieces like that interesting grafted uh, Leptoceras. That was definitely one of my favorite pieces. Of course, it was weird, so I liked it. Uh, then we got the, some of the torches here, including some of the ASDs there with some really great color and some hammers on the right side of it. Some golds, some greens. Also had some nice big Zoa rocks um, that people could grab if they were looking to fill up a nice little area of the tank. Uh, this is the other tank he had, so you can see some meats, some endophilias, some acanthophilias, as well as a few different hammers, some uh, interesting splattered ones, and some Yaya Mensises there. Uh, he also had some Zoas and some Montes, really nice looking uh, grafted Monty there. Some of the Starfire grafted Montes, as well as some Ghanis, of course. Uh, if you've seen him before, he always has some really cool looking Ghanis. Some more mushrooms, including some St. Thomas's and some bounce mushrooms in the back there, including some pin cushions, which are a little more uncommon. Also had some chalices with some really great coloration on them. Really cool splattering and nice and chunky. Some blastos, some Akan Echinatas, which are a little more uncommon nowadays, even though they're super easy to care for. Also had a bunch of different anemones in that little basket there, and some more zoas and bigger pieces, uh, like some of these wall frog spawns and hammers. Also had some rock flowers, like I said earlier, a lot of rock flowers at the show, some really nice ones that are starting to come out. This is one similar to the coral stops. Next up is Animal Attraction. They are located in Colorado. They had a bunch of different mushrooms in these cups here, in addition to a nice pair of clowns with those anemones. Also had some zoas, a bunch of different types, and some clams, really big clams in the back there next to some of those fuzzy mushrooms. These guys were about five or six inches, so some of the biggest clams at the show. Um, you can see in those four or five ounce cups, they're pretty big. Some GSP, as well as some pretty cool looking Lobos, some interesting coloration on them. Some Scolies, some Trachees, really cool looking chalice up front here, and some of the Mummy Eye chalices there next to that one. Uh, some more chalices and Favites, as well as a couple of Space Invader Pictinias. In the other tank, he had some really cool Dipostreas, these guys are something I've never really seen before, and there was already one or two sold when I got to this booth. I got in before VIP, um, and they were still a few sold. I think some of the vendors grabbed some of them just because they're so unique. I've definitely never seen them before. Also had a bunch of really nice bright hammers, some gold ones there, and some Montes and Acros here. Really chunky frags that are nicely encrusted and grown in. You can tell they really care about taking care of their pieces uh, and making sure they're nice and healthy before they get sold to a customer. Some more Akan Echinatas here, as well as some big fat Acro mini colonies that are nice and extended and fluffy looking. You can see there, he also had some other Space Invader Pictinias and some larger favias and chalice colonies in the back here along with a couple of leathers and a few really nice rock flowers next up we've got coral syndicate um, they brought some nice gold torches in the back here as well as some zoas nice fender bender cyphastria some chalices as well as some other encrusters um, some interesting orange mushrooms as well as some Leptoceras, some Leptoceras, some Zoas, Favias, really nice Favites down there. Big Favia colony there. 
The Space Invader Pictinia, definitely a popular thing at this show. Also had some Acros, some other sticks, um, some more Zoas in the back there, some Blastos, as well as some other different Favias and Acroporas. Nice Deoceres plate, a Raja Rampage Chalice, really cool Stylo Rock. Next up, we have Reef Farm. Um, if you've seen Reef Builders, this is run by uh, Salem over at Reef Builders. Uh, he has a lot of nice pieces that he's been growing out. Um, these are all farmed in his own system, which is really cool. You can see there, nice Holy Grail ASD torch there. Um, some higher end Zoas, mushrooms, hammers as well, all throughout here. Uh, really nice, healthy looking specimens, especially this uh, OG bounce here has some really nice color to it and good size as well. Next up we have Aqua Studios Aquariums. They had some plate corals up front along with some zoas and some mushrooms in the back of this rack. Um, there's also some encrusters, some favites, some favias, some galaxia over here, some Akan echinatas, chalices and ganis as well as some trachies up front here. Some brain corals, some chalice colonies, some meat corals, really beautiful orange, gold meat coral right here. Of course, they had some euphelia, some hammers and frog spawns, as well as some torches. Another ASD Holy Grail. Um, these guys were at a lot of different booths, um, but they all look fantastic. And you might recognize these artworks um, that we also have in our store. Um, pretty cool. Next up, we have Underwater World. Um, he had some scolies as well as a bunch of different encrusting corals, Cyphastrias, Favias, Stylostanellas, uh, Favites, as well as some pretty cool fox corals in the back there. Some Ghanis, Duncans, Trumpets, Zoas, even a couple of smaller Trachies. Nice mushrooms up front, as well as some Chalices and Acans, a couple Montes, some Galaxia and Alveoporas in the back there. In the other tank he had some frog spawns and hammers on this left rack and then some acans, some pretty good sized frags and colonies as well as a Wilsoni, some button scolies and some mushrooms up front here. Really beautiful green and gold guy right there. Also had some torches of course, some gold torches, some Miami Joker torches, um, some black light torches as well. Next up is Reefworks out of Austin, Texas. Um, he was in our Dallas Reef and Palooza video. He has some really nice pieces. This is all his Euphelia here. Uh, really beautiful pieces. Some encrusters, some chalices and favias here that he's grown out as well. Really beautiful hologram hammer there. Uh, in addition to some of these neon green bird's nests, which are pretty cool. And a little more unique. Really nice Candy Crush Jawbreaker and some more encrusting Leptoceris there. He also had some branching Cyphastria, which is pretty cool, in addition to some Acans, some Space Invader Pictinia, and then he also had some pretty cool Anemones. He had these bright neon green, as well as some of these rainbows up front were very interesting. Now, his main tank, he has mostly SPS, so he's got some Digitatas over here on this right side, as well as probably over a hundred different Acroporas. Uh, he has several massive systems at his home where he grows out all these corals, and you can tell they've been taken very good care of. They have fantastic color, and they're nice chunky frags. They're not small little pieces. Um, really, really incredible corals he's got. Um, definitely recommend checking him out if you ever are at a show he's visiting. Um, he's got a lot of different varieties of Acroporas, um, some Tenuous, some Millies, all different kinds, even some Smooth Skins. Next up we have Mile High Corals. Um, he is local to Denver, of course, with Mile High. And he had some anemones, some hammers, some acro colonies, which are really cool. Um, really great colors out of those. Some Montiporas, um, some grafted starfire Monty, nice zoas, magic carpet bounce, some rainbow chalices, as well as some other chalice varieties there. Also had some really nice acroporas and also some digitatas. Really beautiful OG bounce there. Um, some favias and some other uh, plate corals as well as some Cyphastrias. 
Really nice mix of different stuff. Um, very unique booth with a lot of higher end pieces. Uh, really enjoyed this booth. There was so much color and this OG bounce was definitely the highlight. This was the other um, tank at Mile High's booth. This one had some more acro colonies as well as some interesting looking acro frags. Um, some nice big Monty colonies, really big green Slimer colonies there, and some Colorado Sunburst anemones in the back. Um, also had some nice Zoas, some higher end ones, some pretty cool Cyphastrias and Chalices, as well as some Montiporas and some Digitatas, some Encrusters like Favias and Favites, some cool Dragon's Breath, uh, Macroalgae, I think he was the only one to bring that, um, and some more different Cyphastria frags that are nicely encrusted. Next up we have Ward's Aquatics located in Virginia, so he had quite the distance to travel. Um, he had some Stylos, some Montes, some Rainbow Chalices, um, some Favias that he has cultured, uh, as well as some mushrooms that he's also grown out, uh, nice bounce mushrooms there, some Chalices in the back there, as well as some Space Invader Pictinia, some trumpets and hammers, as well as a few really nice Ghanis up front there. Um, they had some fantastic color on them. Nice green and gold kind of mix. A lot of nice corals in this tank um, that are nicely encrusted and fat and happy. And the second to last booth is Zoanthids.com. Um, he, of course, had some really fantastic pieces. Um, so a lot of higher end pieces up front and on the sides, and then a ton of different frags in the center. Not just Zoas, um, but also some Stylos, some Leptostreas, some Chalices, as well as some Acans and some Mushrooms. You can see this nice Godzilla at the bottom there, um, along with some really nice looking Power Bankies. Um, and of course, he had some Zoas, a bunch of different higher end Zoas all mixed in with a few other classic Zoas, like some Fruit Loops and some Gobstoppers. Uh, definitely really nice selection of different Zoas. Uh, also had some Ghanis and some more Acans, a few Blastos. You see the shrooms up front and that really beautiful Acan. So a lot of different Acans, um, some of the Bower Bankies as well as some of the Echinatas, along with some more mushrooms and chalices in the back there. Um, a lot of really unique pieces. This was definitely um, one of the nicest Blastos at the show. Um, some pink cushion mushrooms, some hammers and frog spawns, as well as a nice large favia there, chalice. Really beautiful plate coral. This was definitely the nicest plate coral at the show. This piece is absolutely jaw-dropping. And you can see the mother of that Godzilla over on the left side that we saw and our last booth is BSA corals uh, he had of course some really nice stuff a bunch of different Zoas Acans Favias even some Blastos some Montes mixed in here along with some really look interesting looking Dipastria uh, some Acanthophilias of course and some mushrooms, some bounce mushrooms, some rhodactus mushrooms, all with really fantastic coloration on them. Also had some magic carpet mushrooms that had a ton of different color, especially for their size. It was really impressive. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.